What's going on YouTube? Lopez back here with another video and I'm going to be talking about should you work retail? Now a lot of people want to get their first job, um, things like that and some people are just looking for a job in general and retail is an area that hires quite a bit but it's not always the best option. Now I'm not saying going to the food industry, I honestly think the food industry is worse than retail but that's not me saying that you should go into retail just because the food industry is bad. Now, I'm basically going to be asking a couple of questions. Like, let me just ask this one off the bat. Are you prepared to deal with customers that get angry over stupid things that are just irrationally angry? They're just mad over nothing. Because if you're not prepared for that, there's no reason to go even go into retail. Because if you're going to be like a cashier or someone that's walking around like trying to help people find stuff things like that like a, a service associate or something that's on the floor you're gonna have people that are gonna get mad at you for absolutely no reason and it's it's one of the dumbest things ever and the thing about retail is you are always dealing with people always 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 you are always dealing with people and people always have problems now if you can deal with people that's good but I promise you, you're going to get to a point where you really just don't want to deal with it. Now, another thing that you got to ask yourself, are you prepared to work with some co-workers that are just honestly kind of stupid? I mean, people do stupid things. They say stupid things. They, I, A lot of people cause issues in the workplace for no reason, um, especially if you're working around like a lot of younger people. If you're working around like high school people or people that are just straight out of high school, you'll probably end up dealing with a lot of, you know, drama and issues between people just because, I mean, that's just their life for some reason. That's their livelihood. Um, and another thing about that, you have to be prepared for your bosses to tell you oh yeah we all abide by the same rules and then for them to not abide by the same rules it's pretty it's, per, it's pretty hypocritical but it it happens everywhere uh, your boss is always gonna tell you oh yeah we we go by the same rules and all this kind of BS like they'll say okay no phones and then you know you'll see them later just sitting on their phone <laughs> they literally won't be doing anything now Another thing you got to be ready for, managers, this kind of adds back into the whole we abide by the same rules thing. Managers sometimes look like they aren't doing anything and sometimes they really aren't. Uh, sometimes they'll just be standing around waiting for something to happen because honestly they have nothing better to do. And it can get kind of annoying. So if you're not prepared for that, you're going to have a bit of an issue working retail because it happens all the time. Now, let's get into the people that think they can do whatever a manager does. You are going to have co-workers that are going to walk around doing whatever the hell they want with whoever they want. They, they honestly, they will do whatever they want. They don't care. They will act like they are a manager. They will do what just whatever their heart desires are. They really don't care. And the thing is, because they're close with the managers... The managers don't care they let them do it and that's kind of where the problem comes in another thing into that you got to be worried about the favoritism because favoritism plays a big part I know my voice just cracked there I don't know I feel kind of pissed off today and I think that that's kind of part of it but favoritism plays a huge part in working I mean they always say it's not what you know it's who you know and that's true because if you're close with the managers, you can basically do whatever the hell you want because for some reason they just don't seem to care at all. Now, this is a complete 180 from the people that walk around doing whatever the hell they want. Then you're going to have to deal with co-workers co that do absolutely nothing. They will sit there and they won't do their job and... That, I mean, that's really it. You'll have to do everything yourself. And then if something goes wrong, you're going to get blamed, even if you didn't have help, even if you couldn't get something done in time. And the worst part about it is the second you take a little slight break, okay, the second you do that, that same coworker that has been doing nothing all day is going to try and call you out on that. On some BS, they will try to call you out on it. So I'm just letting you know right now, I've worked retail I think, I mean, my first job was retail. I basically worked retail for, I've worked retail a solid couple years now. And I understand, okay, I don't understand it. I think it's stupid. But I know what goes on in retail. And it is extremely 
stupid. <laughs> BS. That's all I can say about retail is retail is BS all day. <laughs> so if you're not prepared to handle that, I mean, people will get mad out of nowhere. People will just get mad to try and ruin your day because they're having a bad day. They don't care. People want you to be upset because they're upset. So, I mean, really just ask yourself that. Are you ready? Are you prepared to deal with BS all day? Okay, I get paid pretty well for my job, but I still, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think any amount of pay is enough pay to deal with the kind of BS that you have to deal with when you're working retail. So, either you need to be getting paid like $50 an hour, <laughs> or you need to have a really strong mind that's the only reason that I've been able to stick around in retail is because I can stick through the BS stick to myself and just worry about what I'm doing as opposed to worrying about what everyone else is doing but don't get it twisted I'm keeping my eye out when I see something stupid going on I'll call them out for it if they try to come at me out the side of the neck I'm just letting you know right now so thanks for watching the video guys if you enjoy please like comment subscribe I should be buying uh, two or three PC parts tonight um, you know, I made that video and I was talking to my friend and I just decided I need to, you know, start, I just need to start trying to work towards it more. So I'm going to definitely be buying it, buying the PC parts more, uh, more often and a, bu a lot quicker just so I can get this done and start getting stuff better, high quality videos and some nice high quality streams out to you guys. So like I said, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.